Hi, my name is Ahmed Sidki, and I'm uh, the head of development management at Riot Games, also the president of the International Consortium for Agile. Um, and I'm super excited uh, to return to New Zealand uh, this year. Last year, uh, I was invited to speak at Agile New Zealand, and I had such a great time. Uh, we talked about uh, different transformation approaches for enterprise Agile. Uh, but this year, I, I come with a different topic, uh, and I, I come super excited to share um, really a, a year's worth of uh, uh, thought-provoking exploration and tactical implementation with some unique results. Um, and so uh, this, this past year, uh, for the past two years, I've, I've shifted my role from sort of being independent and consulting organizations to actually fully embedding within an organization. And um, I work full-time at Riot Games. Uh, head of development management there. So in that exploration, uh, one of the things that's been really top of mind for, for me and, and my team here is leadership and leadership roles and responsibilities um, in a fully agile environment. And what does that really mean? Um, and it means a, a whole wide spectrum from sort of a traditional view of command and control to uh, what people call agile leadership today. And that's a really hot buzzword term today, but what is it? Um, is it really just servant leadership packets in a nicer word? Is it, is, it, is it stewardship? Is it all of the above? And so we set out on that journey to understand what are leadership roles. And, and if you ask um, traditional agile teams, uh, you know, who's accountable for the results? They say the team, well, that doesn't work in our organization. Someone needs to be accountable. I can't pull in the whole team to have a discussion um, if something goes wrong or if something goes right. Um, and so we, we really started thinking about this uh, distinction between ownership and leadership and accountability and responsibility. And, um, and we came up with uh, some models and, and some, some real deep understanding of, of what leadership, true human-centric leadership means. And, and I'm excited to share this because I think, um, I think we as a community have gone sort of from one side of the spectrum to another. And, and I think um, at Riot, we're experimenting with sort of what a middle ground really looks like. Um, from one side, like I said, command and control, um, traditionally pre-agile to um, really a, a new age of, of servant leadership and enablement and, and, and coaching. But is that it? And, and I think there's an interesting middle ground that I'd like to share uh, with the participants and, and talk about this, uh, this from, a, from two angles, really. One is from a thought process and um, conceptual deep philosophy angle. Uh, but then um, take it really practically and show you how uh, we have a whole toolkit um, that we use here at Riot Games to help teams define leadership roles in a very, very agile manner um, that accounts for what people's strengths are and, and what they're good at. And, and it actually gives a voice to the team to hold leadership accountable um, in ways that we didn't anticipate, honestly, didn't expect. And so we have some interesting and, and, and exciting results to share. And again, not that this toolkit is a copy and paste solution for other organizations, but it is definitely an exercise in um, innovation and in, in, in agility, in organizational agility, where we're not bound by specific practices. So basically we if you think of all the typical roles and responsibilities in an agile organization, product owner, scrum master, coach, et cetera, we totally went away with that, with all of those. And we started from, from first principles, what do we want to achieve? Um, and, and we started building our own set of roles and responsibilities uh, based on deep agile principles and, and what works for our environment. And we came up with something I think is really exciting and, and, would love to share with the participants there. So uh, that's what's exciting me. That's what's on my mind. Um, this notion of leadership in an agile organization and, and what stance, what does it really mean? The difference between accountability and the ownership and the accountability just about like pointing the finger or is there positive accountability and, and all that kind of stuff is what I'm excited to share um, in New Zealand.